Welcome guys to Last Call Presents Unboxing. Now this is a show where we grab a box at hand, we open it up, we show you what's inside, and we let you know if we think it's worth it. Now on this week's box, we're doing uh, the BAM box. So this is similar to like a loot crate or something along those lines. It's filled with um, kind of geek pop culture references that are set to a theme for the week. To be clear, we're not sponsored by anybody. We don't have any particular tie with BAM box in any way. Um, I was a big fan of Loot Crate and stuff like that back in the day. There was a, a Geek Me box. So I like getting merchandise and kind of collectible stuff in packages like this. I haven't got one in a long, long time. And since we were starting the unboxing, I figured, let me look for one and see what we got. Now, what caught my eye is the ones I used to get before usually came with like a t-shirt or something like that. So it kind of justified me paying a $20, $30, maybe even a $40 box because a good shirt is worth its weight. I mean, if you can essentially get a good box and if the shirt's cool, there's a $20 t-shirt in it. This one doesn't have it. This one comes with signed like pop figures and cards and prints from what I've seen. And so that alone can be worth some bucks. So let me be clear here. Let me pull something up. The BAM box comes in three different styles. There's the BAM gamer box, there's the BAM geek box, and there's the BAM horror box. Those all run at $29.99 plus shipping. So I got mine. I ordered it. I want to say back in June. I got it in August. I'm assuming it takes a little while because they got to get everything signed. Everything is authenticated. Uh, you can go to the bamauthentic.com and it'll pop in the number for what your box is and it'll show everything that's uh, on it and it shows how legit it is. The boxes, there's also one called the BAM Big Box. Now this looks like to be you know the bigger of all of them and it looks like it sells out the quickest so if you guys are interested in checking this out by the end of the episode just go to the bambox.com slash subscribe and you guys can pick out your box so the other thing before i open this up and see what's in it is and how it caught my eye was on facebook there's an official group called the official bambox community and what they're doing is a lot of these guys show off what they have in terms of their signatures on cards and prints and pops that's kind of how i know what's generally in them um, or what's going to be in this and they trade them or they sell them. So if you guys are looking to get this, you're not stuck with a generic kind of throw in of what people of what like a loot crate will do based on a theme, like a Deadpool theme, a belt buckle or something like that. You're going to get signatures and you can then trade them to other people in this Facebook group, which I thought that was really cool. So the, it's the official Bambox community on Facebook and then, um, the Bambox dot Com. So the one that I grabbed was the gamer one and the uh, the theme that was supposed to be on it or at least some of the items that are supposed to be in it is Injustice 2. Uh, that's from you know DC Injustice 2, the game Zelda, Breath of the Wild, God of War, and Punch-Out. So all seem like good things. So I figured, hey, let's check it out. Let's see what's in it. So let's see what we got. All right, so before I even open it, I already don't like the way it sounds with everything moving in there. I would have imagined that everything would have been more contained, like a box within a box, because I can already hear things shaking around, and if everything is just sitting here the way it is in this, I don't know if that's a good idea, especially when you're talking about signatures and things like that that you don't want to get uh, ruined or damaged. So I hope that's not the case, but I got a feeling that it is. And yeah, it is. So everything is just kind of sitting in the box so not great but let's see if everything looks like it's in good condition so this is pretty cool uh it looks like it's two prints yeah two prints here one is the god of war and it's 129 out of 2200 and there's a signature down there i don't i don't recognize the signature offhand but i will be looking that up and i'll throw up a picture so you guys can can see it that looks pretty cool and again cool little gifts to trade to people or or give to birthdays or something the next one, this one's badass. It's a uh, Master Chief and uh, Drake from uh, Nathan Drake from Uncharted, and again signature, and it's 63 out of 500. So it does show you the limited run that this particular print has. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next, we've got some. Okay, so a card that kind of says what's in it, what it's all about. Um, match three and win a giveaway. Match three of the same symbols and win that giveaway. So a scratcher that you can get some stuff. And just more stuff about the box. That's not what we're in for. 
So let's see. Okay, so yeah, this one does come with a pop. And now this is a signature I do recognize. This is B.O.B. Uh, this is Brendan O'Brien. So if any of you guys aren't familiar with that name, Brendan O'Brien, because this is a Crash Bandicoot 533 of Tiny Tiger pop figure. So uh, Brendan O'Brien is the original voice talent for the original Crash Bandicoots. He did, um, he did he'd Crash. He obviously did Tiny Tiger. Uh, he did uh, Cortex. He did Dr. Nitro. So he did a lot of those voices. So that is pretty cool. I'm curious what that actually is worth. And then again, on the back here, there is the certificate of authenticity on this. So that's pretty cool. And... Okay, so down here we've got, um, I don't know, I guess it's a, a keychain maybe? It's a it's a Zelda shield, a Link shield. So I'm not really impressed with this because it's supposed to be Breath of the Wild and this can kind of be in any Zelda box. So I don't really see, I don't know, it's a Zelda thing so it's cool enough. Uh, the next thing is a pin. Bam Gamer Volume 1 Box 1 Collectible Enamel Pin. It's a punch-out pin with Mike Tyson's face on it. So I'm sure there's different variations. I got that one. And the last one. Okay, so this is what I did see people trading on the Facebook group. They got these, like, trading cards. Bam Gamer. Artist Selected. Uh, this is an authentic Bam fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12. So this is... Uh, fan art by artist Jason Miller. So that's pretty cool. So that's sign, that's card by him. It's an authentic piece. So overall, uh, that's the rest of what's in here. I am curious what the crash is going for. So give me one second. We'll check it out. We'll see what it's worth. All right, guys. So we're back. I checked it up. I've pulled it up. I've been looking around on uh, eBay for what this thing is going for. And I found a couple of them. The one I'm going to throw up is the cheapest one that's being sold for it. There's other ones. This one's going right now for $61.75. It started off at $95. It's showing 35% off, but there were other ones at $100, $120. I think I saw one that was like $150. The reason I picked this one, because this one does have the the same white B.O.B. signature that mine does. So if this thing's selling for $61, again, it's eBay, so take that for what it is, but it was starting at $95, selling for $61.75. I saw um, some other guys on the site that were actually saying, um, it was going for, at, you know, the lowest amount was at least 40. So if you've got at least something that's sign that's signed and authenticated, that's worth more than what you paid for on the box that you can either go on this website or the Facebook group and sell or trade or get something that's worth its value, then pretty much it pays for itself. And then you still have all these other cool things. So I think for the 30 bucks, it was worth it. Cause the pop alone is worth more than what I got. Plus I still have two cool, really cool, uh, prints that are signed the card. You know, they're going to be perfect either if I keep them, trade them, or give them a birthday present or something like that. So I, on, the, on the Facebook group, it did show a lot of other things too. So I saw a bunch of things like Edward Scissorhands, Ghostbusters, Harley Quinn, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So these boxes have a wide variety of what you can get out of them if you are looking to, uh, excuse me, to trade or collect. The next one that's showing up for the, for the next gamer box is going to contain Final Fantasy VII, Resident Evil, and battle toads so that seems kind of cool so i've already um it already renewed my membership so so far i'm not disappointed with it when it comes in we'll do another opening we'll check it out we'll see if it was worth it see what we got out of it so if you guys are looking to get involved with it definitely check it out or send an email to lastcallproductions at gmail.com i can send you a referral code it kind of helps out kind of builds that community within the community um, other than that i think it was a pretty solid Pretty solid box for 30 bucks. I mean, I didn't get here instantly, but some cool stuff. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if there's anything in here you guys like. If you, I mean, I'm more than happy to trade or sell something to anybody. So follow us guys on Twitter at last call, PRODZ. I gave you guys the email, like, comment, subscribe the video. And until next time, guys, cheers.